All right, shout out first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah, Bahashim Harakak Wadash, the reliance of the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you elect out there. Shout out one. squad here, and I just want the land back off of this uh, beautiful video uh, <clears throat> that was done about the, uh, the four rivers on the ancient map, okay? This is a topic that came up recently and uh and still a great video um and just want to go into really um as i watched it, it it just you know sparked me to go into abraham because this is another proof this is more proof that um the bible is real okay the bible is true all right and so um the point i'm going to make and this is where you can get a gms precept this is older video i'll try to link it right let's see if i can get it bigger all right and even um okay and there's the map there now in the video here you see the point being made uh of that land between um the four rivers Okay, and watch the video. Lord willing, I remember to put in the link. And they have all the four rivers right there. <clears throat> but when you go into that, um, that's the land that Abraham was uh, promised. Okay, and when you see those lands, uh, you'll notice that that's where everybody's at today. Everybody is still there except uh, for the Israelites. Okay, as we should understand in prophecy that they were scattered, but that still doesn't change them from being part of Abraham's inheritance. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get a couple of precepts and a little bit of this to be edifying. All right, so uh, this is back with Abram. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'll read verse verse one. It's Genesis 17 and one, and when Abram, which was Abraham before he got the blessing and his name was changed to Abraham. It says was ninety years old and nine, and appeared unto a <coughs> And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, ninety nine, the Lord Yahweh appeared unto Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty Power. Walk before me and be thou perfect, and I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face, and the Most High talked with him, saying. As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of nations. And when the name is changed, this is where the blessing begins to happen, right? Um, I'll keep reading. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Ab Abraham. For I, excuse me, for a father of many nations have I made thee. Okay, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make thee nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee look and here's the point and i will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generation for an everlasting covenant to be a power unto thee and to thy seed after thee so this is where he he said he was going to bless him and kings will come out of you make him fruitful but then he also said he will establish his covenant an everlasting covenant with him. And and who got the everlasting covenant? And here's the even bigger part. And and I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and be their God. And he never said he would be their God unto the, the children. But well, let's go into who, who his children are. Back in Genesis 15, which I believe the brother highlighted, it said, In the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt, unto the, which is the Nile, right? Unto the great river, the river Euphrates. The Kenites and the Kenizzites and the Kadmonites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Rephamine, Rephamines, uh, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Okay. So let's get this. Oops. Okay. 
and it shows matter of fact I can actually cut to the chase for time of interest but you can see um, matter of fact I'm going to go straight to or I'll go straight to Romans 9 it says uh, and I say the truth in you I, I, I lie not and that's the um, which we should know that that I'll grab it it's lock it I'm a little bit all over the place bear with me it's just a spirit moving so uh um, let's go up to uh, here. Okay. Um, Daniel 7. Matter of fact, let's go straight to the point in 20. Five. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, Daniel 7 20, 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him okay who's that speaking of Yahweh Shai okay and we know that the covenant was given from Abraham Isaac to Jacob now It'll it'll show it, and that's why I was going to Romans. Fuck you. That's why I was going to Romans. Ninth chapter, okay. And we'll get to that. It says Romans chapter nine. It says, uh, I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not, my conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit. Uh, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I wish that myself were a curse from my shock for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption to in the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises. Okay, whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, the Mashiach came, who is over all, Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. Okay, we got to see that that's, that was something given to the to the Israelites. Okay, through Abraham, down to Isaac, through Jacob. And that's what we're dividing right now. Verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Because they were two different women, and that's where I was at in Genesis. All right, Genesis 16. Now, uh, Sarai, Abraham's wife, bare him no children, and she had an handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hajar. And Sarah, Sarai, excuse me, before her name was changed to Sarah, said unto Abram, Behold, the Lord has restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto thy maid, and give my maid. Uh, it may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened unto the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hajar, her maid, the Egyptian. And Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, right? It was that land that the Israelites were given, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. And he went in unto Hajar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived her mistress, with despise in her eyes. She got uh, angry with her, jealous. Okay. Let's see, uh, now that she was pregnant. Um, verse 10. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceeding, and it shall not be numbered for multitude. Okay. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, she called his name Ishmael because the Lord have heard thy affliction. That's what Ishmael is, her, uh, affliction heard. Okay, and he shall be a wild man. His hand shall be against every man, and every man's hand against him. He shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Okay, and what is that? The presence of all his brethren is in that land. Havilah, the brother was speaking of. Okay. <clears throat> and she shall call... Uh, call the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou power seest me, and she said, Have I also 
here looked after him that seeth me. Okay, so that's that was the point up there. Dwell with his brethren. Yeah, so that's all that land. I can't zoom it, but that was all that land <coughs> that uh that 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 Abraham was was promised. Okay, between those four rivers. All right, and Ishmael, you go into who's actually in that land. It, it's, it's Ishmael, man. It, it's the uh, the Arabs. Okay. And, and, in, uh, in different forms of uh, well, the, Is the Israelites also, and also the Edomites were in that land. And then when you get down further, it was also uh, Lot's children, the children of Lot, okay, with um, Moab and Ammon were also in that land. All right, those all break down out of uh, out of Abraham. All right, uh, one second. All right, so this is First Chronicles. Now I am kind of going backwards with it, but First Chronicles chapter one, verse twenty-eight, twenty-seven. Abram, the same as Abraham. Okay, showing you that the blessing which we went into, the sons of Abraham, Isaac and Ishmael. Okay, and it goes into the sons of Ishmael. Right there. Okay, then it goes into the sons of Keturah and all of that. Okay, and then it goes. And Abraham begat Isaac, the son, the sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. Okay, you can see where that line continues to go. All right, so now we're back in Romans, the ninth chapter. Okay, for interest of time. All right, back here it says, uh, back seven, verse 7 again, neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Get out of the way. Uh, are they all children? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called, in, in the sons of Isaac. Okay? That is, which are the children of the flesh. These are not the children of the Most High, but the children of the promise are accounted for the seed. Okay? For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And and, and that was, I didn't actually get that one, but that was also in Genesis. Okay. Yeah, I gotta take off in a minute. It says, "For the children not yet being born, having um, done neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High Court to election might stand, not of work, but of Him that calleth." Okay. Showing you that it went from Abraham down to Isaac. And then from Isaac is, is going to go down to Jacob. Verse uh, verse 12, it was said unto her, speaking of Rebekah, the elder shall serve the younger. And as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Okay, so it's showing you that it's going from Abraham, Isaac to Jacob. And then there's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob all throughout the scriptures. I'll pull one and close out there. All right, this is uh, Galatians 3 and 7. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith are the same of, are the children of, of Abraham, okay? That go through that blessing now, real quick. Another one, uh, Hebrews 11. It says, uh, and I believe this is verse, let's see the chapter. Okay. Verse 8. No, no, no. Verse 9, but I'll start at, at, at 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And when he went out, not knowing whither he went, okay, he took a journey of faith. It says, by faith, he sojourned, sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Okay, and you see how that's that same land, particularly into the land of Israel. Now we know the Israelites were scattered throughout the scriptures. We can see that that they were scattered in that land, you know, throughout the, the earth, and they're the ones that aren't there today. We're showing you that that promise kept passing down. Okay, and so this is that land right there, man. Okay, this is that land right there that the brother was talking about between those four rivers. All right, that the seed of uh, because uh, Abraham uh, got. All right, but the promises of the kingdom of heaven 
and in that in that richest land that was the land of Canaan, became the land of the Israelites, man. So Lord willing, this was edifying. So like you, I had to jump around a lot, but Lord willing, um, it was some edification that came out of it. So with that, I don't give all praise and glory to the Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Yahweh Kakodash, the devil honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love on to the next one. Shalom.